Hey everyone, it's PJD here and I'm going to be bringing you the swatches that I promised. I'm starting off with Chocolat, which is something I mentioned two MAC videos ago. Um, so this is Chocolat. It's basically like a chocolate. Look at that. You can see that, right? I'm just putting it on a lot so you can really see the color. But yeah, it's definitely a chocolate that shows up well. I like the color. Can you see that? Yeah, it's like a chocolate. I know it's kind of gross to sh show you the tissue, but I just wanted you to see the color. All right, so that was Chocolat. And next up is Spirit and Soul. And then I'm going to get into the ones that I showed in my last video. Here's Spirit and Soul. Also like a, a brown, but sorry, I didn't show it. Here you go. It kind of reminds me of Wet Wild and Wonderful in that family. That's what it looks like. So definitely lighter than Chocolat. Next up is one that I really like. This was mentioned in my last video. It's called Light That Fire. Kind of like a peachy coral color. Can you see that? Peach. Oh, this is the lip jelly. It's in the color Moistly. M-O-I-S-T-L-Y. Yeah. <laughs> and it looks like a dark berry, but when it comes on, you'll see that really you don't you don't get color payoff from this. Very, very minimal. See, I just put it on, right? But I didn't like rub it in yet. So look at that. See, like mm, hardly anything. But it feels nice on my lips. It's definitely not as sticky as these um lip glasses from MAC. So I appreciate that. Here it is on the tissue. See, it's even kind of light there. So that's that. This is Venetian. Definitely lighter than Russian Red from MAC. This is a luster glass. All right, and this works as a good overlay on top of um, red lipsticks or even other colors too, but... So you get that red payoff, but not, I mean, it's definitely not a deep red. So that's that, Venetian. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Red isn't really my thing. I'm just trying something new. Oh, this one I love. This is called Liqueur. See how that kind of, as you may be able to tell by now, I kind of like the ones that blend in the most. Look here. I know you may say, what's the sense on buying something? It's just going to blend in, but I like that hint of color, but not too much. <laughs> Sorry, I'm showing you the tissues, but all right, this is 3N. When I saw um, Just Me from YepAnotherOne.com put this on, I'm, I knew I wanted to have it. It blends in very well with the lips, like a, in the nude family, but not a nude that makes you look all dried out or like it's too light for you. It blends in really well with my lips, almost like I have nothing on. I'm just putting on a lot so you can see it, but yeah, I like that. Three in. I was just watching, side note, I was just watching uh, Monique and she did a, a soul food reunion and the guy that played the little kid on that show, he kind of narrated soul food, he still looks the same. I mean, he literally looks like he's 10 and he's 23. Anyway, this is called Desire. It's in the Berry family. All right, here we go. Dark color. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, and I am loving that crest um, 
toothpaste that I showed in the last haul and the mouthwash or the 3D whitening that thing that comes with it or that you could buy from that collection. Really liking it. I can't say that to whiten my teeth any yet, but I like um, the way the the solution foams in my mouth. It looks like a mouthwash. I like the way that foams and I like the way the um, toothpaste works really minty nice clean fresh feeling all right so those are all the lip glasses that i got last time but i also want to show you this color from maybelline from their color sensational line it's called are you ready r-e-d-d-y and it's number 625 red is definitely not something i do but hey i decided to get it i see look at that it's not really as red as i thought it would be I feel like the Joker or not the Hamburglar. I don't think he had red lips, but mm, the Joker. Yeah. So that's not working. If I were to wear this outside, it would definitely be more like this. And then some Venetian on top of that. All right, so that's that. And now let me show you these lip stains which really do work actually I gotta start with the light one first because yesterday I tried to tape this for you guys and show you the lip stains and I kid you not that stain would not come off and I had another color to do after that so it just screwed up the whole thing which is why I'm doing it over again today anyway this one is number 435 and it's called um because it's not written on here anymore it's called flirty nude Maybe maybe you can't tell, but I can tell you right now that this is so much has so much more liquid in it than the first lip stain that I purchased. I'm gonna take it off so it doesn't dry on my lips, but this is good stuff. It stays on for hours, 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 hours. I'm sorry. Why am I showing you the tissue? But I just want you to see the color. All right, now this one is the, the deep one. This is um, 425, and it's called Plum Pout. Look at that. One swipe, and it's on. That did not happen the first time I tried the, the lip stain months ago. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Lovely. Yeah, I like this. Now, mm, that will definitely, well, see, look at that. I'm not even kidding you. It's not even coming off. It's coming off, but not a lot, which is what happened last night. So this is a really deep lip stain, and yeah, I'll probably be rocking this tomorrow because <laughs> it's not really coming off, and it's late right now. So um, anyway, these are the colors, and I hope you got something from this. And what else? I feel like I had something else to tell you. See how this is? These lip stains work, I can tell you that. And I got it, buy one, get one free from Walgreens. Oh, I don't want to say the name wrong, but someone left a comment on the blog. I think it was uh, Kenda, or was it Kendra? Sorry. But um, she mentioned that she uses the lip stains as a lip liner and then fills in like with lipstick and stuff on the inside, which is a really good idea because I could imagine this lip stain staying as a lip liner because the point is pretty fine. And you can outline your lips really well, so that's a great idea for those of you who like lip liners so anyway thanks for watching and see you soon oh i'm going to when i post this i'm going to have some text-based stuff on the blog as well because there are a couple of movies that i'm dying to see but also i wanted to mention something to you all right so i'll talk to you soon bye